Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about the Sigma Tox, a new creature inside of Creatures of Scenaria, including how to get it, stats and abilities, and all that good stuff. And if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like on the video and hit the subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me if you did, but without further ado, let's get started with the video. Alright, so let me tell you guys how you can actually obtain this creature. So the Sigma Tox is a tester creature and testers are the only ones who can actually trade the Sigma Tox. So basically the Sigma Tox is exactly like the Eris, but testers are the only ones who can trade it and distribute them out to the community. You may ask what is a tester, well let me tell you. So basically any game that you play there are going to be testers and testers play a huge role in that game since they test out and find glitches so that the game is functional and so that us everyday players have a good experience while we're playing the game. Also they test out anything that the developer needs to be tested before it actually gets released into the game and goes out to the public. For example, testers in Creatures of Scenaria help test out creatures, find bugs and glitches, and reports them to the developers. And yes, they do test out every single update and make sure that the game is functional and running smoothly with the added creatures such as the new ones. And I want to thank all the testers for everything they do so that us everyday players are able to have a good experience. Alright, so let's get back to how you can actually get the Sigma Talks. So if you didn't know, YouTubers and content creators get a monthly supply of 20 Aresis per month and it applies to testers too. So testers actually get a lower amount and um, testers actually get only 5 Sigma Tox species per month, meaning every month a tester only gets 5 species. And if you think about it, 5 species per month isn't a lot and it's going to be hard for testers to pick the people who they want to give them to basically testers can do whatever they want with this five species they have and you know they can trade it they could um, give it to friends do giveaways who knows they could do anything with their species since it is theirs so it's gonna be hard to get a sigma tox species and um, that's pretty much the only way you can actually get the species since they are the only ones that can distribute them and trade them out so if you do decide to message a tester whatever you do do not beg a tester and if they do decline your trade please don't get mad at them because it is their choice and if they don't want to give it to you they don't want to give it to you there's nothing really you can do about it since it is theirs just please don't beg because it will, it will get them very very annoyed and that will probably result in them blocking you or maybe even a ban in the creature scenario discord server and um, if you do get banned, I mean, that probably means that you will never get a Sigma Tox species. So um, yeah, don't do any of what I just told you, all right? All right, so let's get onto the showcase now. And as you can see, this is the Sigma Tox and let's check out its stats. So as you can see, it has 7,000 HP, 450 damage, and it does seven bleed. And it is a carnivore and it is a tier five. And that is very good. And it does have an ability and let me show you guys what the ability actually does so as you can see if you press q you will be able to cast your ability and it's called fortify pretty much what fortify does is um it's an active ability and you can use it every 60 seconds and um, it just removes all your debuffs so let's say you had ligament tear you had burn you had uh, toxic you had bleed you had necro poisoning you, you were asleep because a ghibli flew at you and put you to sleep and you had shock you had hypothermia you had tunnel vision you were paralyzed well with a click of a button you just click q or whatever you guys click to activate your ability if you're on mobile you just click your uh, ability and then it just removes all of that and then you'll be immune for 20 seconds after you use that ability to anything and that is insane and this is very very good because i mean this creature is already immune to poison so you cannot be poisoned but um with this ability it's going to be a huge game changer and it's going to make this creature a lot better for pvp and it makes a, a better reason to actually try to get it from a tester all right so now let's get on to the animations and the first animation is the z animation as you can see right here or the aggro animation and look at this this looks very very cool like see the cactus in front of me yeah that cactus is very intimidated right now that's why the cactus is not even moving it's just standing there and then uh, let's get on to the x animation there we go or the cower animation that is very very unique and very cool and the thing about this creature is the tail i really like that tail the tail kind of looks like a head i mean it practically is a head and um yeah that is very very cool and then to the end animation here we go this is the animation you do whenever you are gonna need to go in mud 
and then the sitting animation, and then the sleeping animation. There we go, very, very cool. And um, that's pretty much it for the animations. And all the roars are actually uh, a roar of the Kurus, the Kurugask, a developer creature. So um, it currently does not have any roars of its own. It has roars from another creature and um, they are just placeholders and in the future they will change up the roars and um, yeah that's pretty much it for this video and if you guys did find this video helpful be sure to smash the like and subscribe button it would really really mean a lot to me and um, yeah that's pretty much it and i will see you all in the next video peace out